In today's video, we'll dive into how an Arduino gyroscope sensor works. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced maker, this guide will help you understand and use gyroscope sensors in your projects. First, let's start with a quick overview. A gyroscope sensor measures the rate of rotation around an axis. These sensors are essential in many applications, from smartphones to drones, providing critical data for navigation and stabilization. What is a gyroscope sensor? A gyroscope sensor detects changes in orientation and angular velocity. It uses the principles of angular momentum to measure rotation around its axes. Here's a quick look at the main components of a gyroscope sensor. This part detects the angular velocity. MPU 6050 The MPU 6050 is a 6-axis motion tracking device that combines a 3-axis gyroscope and a 3-axis accelerometer in a single chip. ASIC, Application Specific Integrated Circuit, processes the raw data from the sensing element. Let's see the pin out of MPU 6050. VCC supplies power to the module. GND is the ground pin. SCL is a serial clock pin for the I2C interface. SDA is a serial data pin for the I2C interface. XDA is the external I2C data line. The external I2C bus is for connecting external sensors, such as a magnetometer. XCL is the external I2C clock line. AD0 changes the MPU 6050 I2C address, avoiding conflicts or enabling dual connections on the same bus, unconnected equals 0 by 68, connected to 3.3 volts equals 0 by 69. INT is the interrupt output pin for the MPU 6050, triggering on gestures, panning, zooming, scrolling, tap, and shake detection. Communication interface, connects the sensor to the Arduino, usually via I2C or SPI. Roll mode, when an angular rate is applied along the x-axis. Pitch mode, when an angular rate is applied along the y-axis. Yaw mode, when an angular rate is applied along the z-axis. Let's see what's inside this sensor. Coriolis effect. The Coriolis effect states that when a mass, m, moves in a specific direction with a velocity, v, and an external angular rate, ohm, is applied, red arrow, the Coriolis effect generates a force, yellow arrow, that causes the mass to move perpendicularly. The value of this displacement is directly related to the angular rate applied. Consider two masses oscillating in opposite directions at a constant frequency. When an angular rate is applied, the Coriolis effect produced by each mass is in opposite directions, resulting in a proportional change in capacitance between the masses. By measuring this change in capacitance, the angular rate can be calculated. How does a gyroscope work? The sensor consists of a proof mass, consisting of four parts M1, M2, M3, and M4 that is maintained in a continuous oscillating movement so that it can respond to the Coriolis effect. They simultaneously move inward and outward in the horizontal plane. When we begin to rotate the structure, the Coriolis force acting on the moving proof mass causes the vibration to change from horizontal to vertical. There are three modes depending on the axis along which the angular rotation is applied. Roll mode. When an angular rate is applied along the x-axis, M1 and M3 will move up and down out of the plane due to the Coriolis effect. This causes a change in the roll angle, hence the name roll mode. Pitch mode. When an angular rate is applied along the y-axis, M2 and M4 will move up and down out of the plane. This causes a change in the pitch angle, hence the name pitch mode. Yaw mode. When an angular rate is applied along the z-axis, M2 and M4 will move horizontally in opposite directions. This causes a change in the yaw angle, hence the name yaw mode. Whenever the Coriolis effect is detected, the constant motion of the driving mass will cause a change in capacitance, C, that is detected by the sensing structure and converted into a voltage signal. We'll explain the accelerometer part in the next video stay tuned. I hope you have learned something new today make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.